And St Mirren and Ross County shared nine goals the last time they met in Paisley. Oh. Stephen Thompson winner. In the very last minute won it for Danny Lennon's side. Here's Connor Newton breaking onto the ball, making his debut. And there's Stephen Thompson. Beaten away by Mark Brown. Connor Newton onto the loose ball. There was Stephen Thompson. Here's Carey. Oh, and Newton just slipped a bit there. Britton. Now Ivan Sproul. And denied by the legs of Craig Sampson. Mistake there by Carey. Glenn linking up with Britton, who then fed Sproul. Ivan Sproul picked out again. One of two debutants for Ross County this afternoon, and it's going to be a yellow card for Graham Carey. It's going to be a difficult afternoon for him. There's Vigers with the free kick. Sampson got across well to protect his near post. It's a very good festive period for St Mirren. Two wins, two draws. Teal. Oh, there's Parkin. What a chance for the big striker. Did really well to outmuscle Scott Boyd, get in prime position in the header. Just had to go either side of Mark Brown, and that would have been the opener. Here's Britton. Quinn now. Oh, that hit the arm of Mark McCausland. Not a lot the defender could do about it. As Quinn just tried to flick it over his head. Britain, the set piece expert. Oh, and it's Richard Britton, he's done it once again. That's the way to answer the doubters. Right footed free kick, right in to the postage stamp. He will be moving to St Johnson in the summer after having signed a pre contract agreement with the Perthshire side. What a way to answer the doubters. Teal. Back to Barron. McGowan. And Teal again. Economu with a bit of contact there on Gary Teal. Nothing given by Ewan Norris, but there was certainly a bit of contact involved. Although, by the looks of it, it was outside the area. Barron and McGowan. Economu managed to intercept. Now Britain to Ivan Sproul. Oh, unleashed the shot and it just curled wide of the far post. Ivan Sproul really looks in the mood this afternoon. Ross County sit 11th in the table, but they're looking to move to within a point of St Mirren. This control by Vigers and quickly taken. Barron plays on. Just dinked into the box. Stephen Thompson felt there was a nudge from Kovacevic. And he is adamant that he should have had a penalty here. This looked a strong challenge by Kovacevic. Glenn down to Britain. Oh, and Rocco Quinn could be in here looking for number two for Ross County. Well, there was a shoulder to shoulder challenge there from Barron. It's very good defending indeed. Here's Barron. Stephen Thompson. Oh, Boyd slips, and Thompson batters it home. And St. Mirren. Our level five minutes into the second half. Stephen Thompson with number 12 for the season. Didn't he finish it well? He sensed the mistake by Scott Boyd. And he pounced. 
It's a really good finish. Too much power in the shot for Mark Brown. McCosland. Lawson did really well. Now Sproul. Looking for Quinn. And he's got Vigers in support. In it comes from Vigers. Oh, miscontrol by Carey. Sproul. And Ross County so close to regaining the lead. Ivan Sproul just inches away. What an introduction to his new club. He's played really well this afternoon. Boyd with a towering header. Oh, Barron, that's loose. It's Morrow, and they are ahead now. Ross County regain the lead. But the mistake came from David Barron, unaware of Sam Morrow. He didn't get enough on the header. The striker has only been on the park for three minutes, but he pounced on the error. What a cool finish for his second goal of the season. Oh, Vigers has done well there. Now Sproul, this time he finds the back of the net. And it's a debut goal for the Northern Irishman. Vigers robbed Robertson. And from then on, the first time volley from Sproul finds the back of the net. Lethal finish. And he looks as if he is going to enjoy life in the Highlands. Britain. It's cleared, but only as far as the Ross County captain. It's past Barron. Clipped in, but cleared. Only to Rocco Quinn. Oh, saved, but there's Sproul. The flag stays down. It's Ivan Sproul at the double on his debut. Ross County. 4-1 leaders here in Paisley. Here's Imri. The St Mirren look for a consolation. Lewis Guy goes down under the challenge of Monroe. And Ewan Norris eventually, after consultation with his assistant, points to the spot. Lewis Guy, who scored a penalty in the 5-4 game. He can't this time. And that compounds St Mirren's misery. And Ross County have won back-to-back -back SPL games for the first time ever.